Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play Siamese Mahjong yet, what are you waiting for? It's so much fun! Especially if you can't find enough players for a four-player game, play two-handed. Two-player, two-handed. There's a link below the video for how to play this style. Just look for the words show more and that will open up the video description. Oh, and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider it. And then if you do decide to subscribe, click subscribe and then click the bell so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn maybe a new strategy or pick up on some insights to the game that might give you an advantage at the table. In this video, I'm going to do what I call Siamese Force. And this is practice for playing in tournaments and special events where there are prizes. Maybe a prize for the first hand in a category or a specific hand. So I have these strips based on the categories on the card. And since we're playing Siamese style, I'm going to pick six. We'll do three random pulls, two hands each. So I'll just put these on the table, mix them up, pull out three. That should leave us with six. So we have two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven, nine, Winds and Dragons, three, six, nine, addition, like numbers. So let's see what we can force. We're going to take 28 random tiles and just say that we're the dealer. We have here flowers. Flowers are used in addition. We don't have any other multiples except for this eight. So let's try to make eight, five, one, three, right here. So I would probably hold these just in case we get a five crack. So this could be an option or we could even, oh, not a five crack, a five bam, five bam. Okay. So as far as the other hand I'm thinking a two four six eight hand two four six eight let's see we don't need that in there two four six eight dragons two four six eight dragon pairs Pear, pear, pung, pung, kong. I think we're going to need that down there for sure. Okay, so that leaves us with um, 12 discards. That's pretty rough. Really more like 14 discards, but we're forcing hands here. And that's sometimes what it looks like. If we did two, four, six, eight, what about if we used this down here and played two, four, six, eight pair hand, two, four, six, eight pair hand. 
All we need here is a two crack and that will fill in with no gaps. And then we could maybe do, let's see, two, four, six, eight pair hand. Oh, you know what? Pair hands is not in here. It's the two, four, six, eight category as a whole. Two, four, six, eight category. So we could maybe do two, four, six, eight dragon. And then up here, maybe what we could do is nine, four, one, three like numbers. That's still going to give us 14 discards. That's pretty bad. That's really not good. Okay, let's look at this another way. Let me see here. Three, six, nine. We have no other multiples. We don't have any multiples besides the eight crack and the flowers. So this is a real challenge. Anybody who says this is too easy, I don't think so. I don't think that they've really played enough to see that this is quite a challenge. It is quite a challenge. Okay, let's see. What about if we play, hmm, addition like numbers, 369. See, I don't think a 369 is going to work. Well, let's just pull out all the 369. Let's see what we can do. The challenge is there are no, no multiples. And then up here, go back to the, we could do eight. Oh, we need five. We need a five. Eight, five. This is challenging. Eight, five, one, three. We need this three bam up here. Eight, five, one, three, three, six, nine. That's even, that's even worse. That's even worse than the two, four, six, eight. Two, four. Two, four. Let's see here, where was that? Two, four, six, eight. Right there. So this builds around the multiple for the eight crack. This builds around the multiple for the red dragon. And then I think what I would do is hold on to three, six, nine. So two, four, six, eight and lucky 13 addition hand. I think that I would hold on to the ones just in case another option comes in with a five crack or five bam. This would give options. So that would take us down. I, I don't think that's going to work out at all. So that gives us 12 discards. It's going to be a rough go, but I think that's what I would try. So we have addition and two, four, six, eight. Addition and two, four, six, eight here. We need this joker down here. Goodness. If you would do something different, let me know, please. I think I would hold all these two, four, six, eights, because then we have options. Yeah, two, four, six, eight. I mean, we could even use this as joker bait. So if anybody puts out a Kong, let's say of red dragons with a joker, we can grab it and stick with two, four, six, eight, or some combination of two, four, six, eight. That's pretty challenging. And this option 
will give us down, get us down to eight discards. So by keeping these, it gives a little more strength for possibilities. All right, let's move on to the next one. So we have odds, three, six, nine, like numbers, winds and dragons. Let's look at like uh, the um, multiples first. East, west, green, six dot, five bam, six crack, nine crack. So I'm thinking we could do winds and dragons and three, six, nine. Let's pull it together and see what we're left with. Winds and dragons up here, three, six, nine down here. Joker bait. Okay, so that's nine discards. Really, it's going to be more because I'm thinking we could do east and west with dragons. Don't need this. We could put it down there maybe. East and west with dragons. And then down here, we could do a three, six, nine. The three, six, nine, if I had to pick a hand, which I don't like doing, three, six, nine, the second from the bottom, three, six, nine in pairs with Kongs of like numbers. We would probably need that joker there because we don't have a six bam. There's a gap there. I would hold on to this flower for the 369 option. These, of course, joker bait. So that gives us 10 discards for wins and 369. I think that would be a good plan for these. If you came up with something different, let me know. So that would be 10 discards with joker bait. That's not bad for forcing a hand. We have a gap with no white dragon. And if we get six bams, we could make that second hand from the bottom work under three, six, nine. Okay, we'll do the last one. Pulling together multiples, flower, east, seven, four, five, six, four, seven. All right, I think we should play like numbers with fours. Like numbers with fours. We have a gap, we don't have any other flowers, or actually we don't have a gap if we go for the like numbers with six flowers. That's gonna be rough though. And then up here, we could play odds. Let's see which one though. We do have two multiples and sevens. Let's see here, I think All right. Okay, so up here, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, one, three, five, one, three, five. Oh, if we did the one, three, five, five, seven, nine, we'd have to throw away one of the multiples. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. 
Okay, this is how I would work this. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. We have a gap with no nine dot. That would give us the odds. Then down here, like numbers with fours or like numbers with sixes. And then we have joker bait. Oh, we have joker bait here too. So I would start by throwing all these away. Hold on to these for joker bait. Hold this as an option for like numbers. I think that's what I would do. We could do one, three, three, five and hold the sevens down here for like numbers. One, three, three, five, and then we would be in between like numbers with fours or sevens. Either way, we're gonna have lots of joker bait. <laughs> Look at all these like numbers. Oh man, that's pretty rough. Let's count one, two, three, four. Probably we'd only be able to use four numbers here. And then, yeah, I think we were better off the other way. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. We had six tiles this way. So here we have six as opposed to only four, even though we have to dedicate that joker there. Like numbers with fours or like numbers with sixes. I think this is how I'd play it. Let me know if you would do something different. So there we go. Like numbers and odds. Those were all really rough. I don't know if any of those would have been winners. There were too many options and lots of joker bait. It's nice if you can really marry all the multiples into your two options, but it's just not possible all the time. But definitely hold them for joker bait. Maybe you could at least get some jokers out of them. Anytime you force hands, you're gonna have probably more discards, more around 10 discards, as opposed to only eight for Siamese Mahjong. I think if you have maybe 10 discards with joker bait, that's not bad, but it's gonna be a rough go, I think, and I don't know if those would be winning hands. Trying to get down to those eight discards, that is a strong start. Let me know what you think about Siamese Force, and if you play in tournaments or go to special events where there are prizes, Give this exercise a try and let me know if you have better results. I'd like to hear about it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell so that you can get notification of when I post new videos. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Style using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.